Hi, Mr. Paul here with another Schoology quick tip. In this one, I'm gonna be looking at how I make that banner image in my courses. Uh, and the reason why I held off on this is because I wanna include sort of a advanced version of that, which also includes putting in there the little hyperlinked icons you see at the bottom of that image. Uh, and I wanted to make sure I covered that in pages first. So here we go, banner images uh, for your courses uh, and even hyperlinked images in that banner image. So what I'd like to show you now is how I do the course banners here you, you see in Schoology in my courses. And these are a combination of a couple of hacks. One I learned at Schoology Next uh, in 2017 in Chicago, which was how to put an image into an, an update and then pin it as an announcement. So it makes sort of this course banner. As you can see, it says clearly right here that it's an announcement. Um, and the way to do that is put your image first of all into Schoology at some place because there's no place to um, when I'm making an update to actually go in and add anything besides a link or there's no way to insert an image. So that was a hack and then I saw people who had used for course training pages where they had done little hyperlinked icons throughout and so what I did was I kept this banner and then added a table underneath here with these little icons that mirror the uh, images on my unit home pages. And so I'm going to show you how we do that. So first of all, I'm going to come over here and go back to my courses here. Just kind of show you how when I'm in here and I go to my updates, what you're going to see is that when I'm working in an update, and I'm inserting content, I have link symbol equation. What I don't have is an option to insert a PIM image. But if I have that image already in Schoology, I can simply copy and paste it in. So what I'm gonna do in here right now is go into this blank page I've made in here. It's an unpublished page in the same course. I have that same banner and I've inserted the icons here for my unit one. Uh, and what I'm gonna do in here is go in and just simply I find it best if I go in and like I'm editing the page. So I'm going to go into the page here and just simply click on it. I'm going to do click and select all, which is going to be all of the material in there. I'm going to hit Control C or Command C if I'm uh, um, on a Mac and copy all that. And then I'm going to come over here to my update and just simply go inside the box and then Control or Command V, paste that in there. And you can see it's all there. And then what I want to do finally to make it that announcement to pin at the top is come down here and check the bell. Now this makes it an announcement. He says Mark's course update is announcement and that's what pins it to the top. So if now if I go in here and simply say, you know, post to this, it will then lock the changes to the top to this new one for this current, uh, this unit that will be started my next year. And as you can see, this is linked courses. So you've got to put it in for all four of the courses. That's important because if you make a change later on, you've got to change them individually. So if you forget a hyperlink someplace, you've got to put them, do those changes all on all four of those. So I'm going to go ahead and hit post here at this point. What we're going to see now is that this has changed the top. I go back to my materials page and you're going to see that this has changed. Again, this is telling me this course expires here in the end of the day but now it's on there but i can click there and this is going to take me now to the first unit information as opposed to uh, the th last unit that we had done earlier in the earth that you saw before so anyway that's the double sort of hack as it were to uh, make those things it's simply what i did in this page here is th this is icons from my unit home page i just put into a table and made smaller and i can make that border disappear if I want to. And then I copied and pasted those in and I just copied and pasted this in with this banner into a, another blank page to keep it all together. And as you saw, we copied and pasted that into the unit. Any questions? I just message me and let me know. Thanks for watching. So there you go. There's a way to make uh, your course look more visual. You can do the simple version of just putting an image up there, or you can do the uh, more advanced version of the image along with some hyperlinked icons. That's up to you. Hope it helped, and thanks for watching.